for there shall be sedition among men. Babylon the great is fallen. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Rabbah Double honors to my elders at Great Millstone, talking this truth to the spirit, singing honors to the elect, peace and blessings to the one third, and confusion the faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom. I'm going to be reading an excerpt out of the Bible, the 1611 King James Version Bible, in the Apocrypha. Second Ezra 15 and 16. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. That is a very heavy scripture in the Bible, because if you know what's going on in America, the citizens of America, which is the mystery for Babylon in the Bible, they had a variance with the head of the state. They had a variance with their governing bodies, right? And this article from The Guardian says so. In a poll, a quarter of Americans open to taking up arms against government, poll says. And this poll was done with 1,000 registered U.S. voters. Voters, okay? It says, survey of 1,000 registered U.S. voters also reveals that most Americans agree government is corrupt and rigged. You hear that? I'm going to leave this article, the link of this article, in the description box. But I want to use this as a segue into scriptures. Alright? Because what it does, it goes to show you that you so-called white people... All right, you're known as biblical Edomites in the Bible, okay, that what has happened, the same, the same country and society that was built for you is now turning against you because the love of money is the root of all evil, right? Harken unto this, Proverbs 21 and 13. Whoso stoppeth his ears at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard. Why did I bring that priest up out? Because at one point, the so-called white man was always above the so-called black man, woman, and child. And Native American woman and child, man, woman, and child, and Latino man woman and child or latin i should say right now look at today's society you got jake's living better than esau right but guess what their own people who's ruling not just america the world is also oppressing them to the point they say they we should take up arms and go you see what they did what was it january 6 you see what they did to the capital the building raided. That's this precept here in fruition. Second Esdras 15 and 16. And side note, Esdras in the Apocrypha is Ezra in the Old Testament. But back to the precepts in Proverbs. Proverbs 21 and 13. Whoso stoppeth his ear at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard. If you're not a billionaire or a trillionaire, all right, then you're the poor. Remember, they had the protest. We're the 99%. What does that mean? That means that 1% of the world population controls what? Over 95%, 90% of the wealth? A small number, right? So, look at this. Look at the state that we are in right now in this society. From the pandemic, matter of fact, going back from the time of Pearl Harbor, the people were smart to know not to go to war. Why? Because once you go to war, the taxpayer dollars goes goes to that. 
So what about the infrastructure? What about the people? They were smart back then, but they allowed Pearl Harbor to happen. I'm not gonna get into conspiracy theories. They knew what they knew that was coming three days prior. And so they so they worked off the emotions of the people. And then guess what they said? Okay, let's go to war then. Cause they saw that their uncles, their husbands, their brothers, their sons, their nephews, grandfathers, all died at Pearl Harbor. They allowed it to happen. But the point of the matter is that when you go to war, you put yourself in more debt. You put the people in more debt. Because where do you get the money for the war? The taxes from the people. Your tributaries, your servants to the, to the state. And the internet has really exposed the hypocrisy, the corruption, the lies, the stealing, and the killing, and the... And, the, and, and just the... Oh, who you truly are, Esau. Right? So when it says, Whoso stoppeth his ears at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard. It goes to um, James 5 and 1 through 2. Go to now, ye rich men. Weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Moth eaten, the corruption is gonna come to listen. They're gonna come climbing over your walls in those suburban areas. All you rich people, they're coming for you now. Second Edges 15 and 16 again. For there shall be sedition among men. I'm gonna start right there. I want to go into the etymology of the word sedition so you can get a better understanding on why I chose this article to go with this precept. A precept is another word for verse. Sedition, mid 14th century, sedition, rebellion, uprising, revolt, factitious commotion in the state, concerted attempt to overthrow civil authority. Wow. Violent strife between factions, militias, and the government. The militaries, the National Guard, the UN troops, right? Civil or religious disorder. I like that one. That's a different one. Riot. Rebelliousness against authority. In other words, anarchy. So sedition among men, meaning that they want to overthrow the government. And they shall not. So, matter of fact, let me read over. Second Edges 15 and 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. What's synonymous with the word, the word king? President. Emperor. Prime Minister. Right? Duke. Continuing. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And you can see what they're doing with their power. And look at the course of America. Like I said, there was a time where every so-called white man, woman, and child was above any so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American. It's not like that right now. And see, now they want to go against their government because their government is not for them anymore. Because we live in better than you in certain conditions. But at the end of the day, you still rule the world. But how come you don't rule with them? How come you live in paycheck to paycheck like we are? But we had to freaking build this country for centuries with no compensation, no therapy, no kind of uh, uh, reconciliation or anything. Just thrown out there and saying, fend for yourselves. Now you want to complain about the same people that actually forced us to build your kingdom, but they didn't give you a piece of the pie? Damn. It has to suck to be a two-time loser, right? I digress. Proverbs 28 and 8. I'm sorry. Proverbs 22 and 7. The rich ruleth over the poor and the borrower is servant to the lender. Do we lend to banks? No. no. Are you lending to your employer? No. Think about this. The Black Law Dictionary. The word employee is synonymous with the word slave. Or servant. Because the employer is what? An owner. 
because you become an asset to the company right think about this LeBron James goes to a, 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 a basketball team he gonna get max deal all the time why people be like LeBron you got all that money why you why you always getting max deals if they are willing to pay me I'm just, I speak as a man I'm just saying if they're willing to pay me what let's just say 200 million dollars for over four years what the hell make you think they're not gonna make 20 30 40 50 times more of that revenue I'm, just, I, I'm speaking as a man I'm just saying that because of my name the brand me my intellectual property yeah LeBron making buku money compared to us but they making way much more off of him and guess what as he's a part of their team he's an asset and every team has an owner going back power 22 and 7 the rich rule over the poor and the borrower is servant to the lender why you think what is it 25 percent of the thousand people of that survey said that you know we should overthrow the government why you think they said that because the love of money is the root of all evil look at the times we live in there why are people ODing off of prescription drugs? Why are people running up in schools and grocery stores and massacring people? Hmm? Why is there road rage? Why is there so much dysfunction in society? You want to know why? Because of poverty. There's enough food and resources on the earth for everyone to get along. But because the love of money is the root of all evil and america is a capitalist society what is capitalism making profit well, capitalism is pretty much trying to produce infinite wealth with finite resources what is infinite meaning that everlasting so they're going to constantly trying to find a way to make to increase their percentage every quarterly on their profit or their fiscal year on every profit so guess what they're doing they're taking they're chopping more and more and more at your wages oh don't forget the cost of living going up right so capitalism is um to produce infinite wealth with finite resources what is what is so if if infinite means everlasting or continuing perpetual what is finite meaning that it's limited you all are slaves to this society if you have a social security number or birth certificate Proverbs 28 and 8. He that by usury and unjust gain increaseth his substance, he shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. <whistles> what is usury? Taxation. When you pay taxes to a country, that means you're tributary. Tributary means that you're under subjection. You're under subjection to that rulership, that governing body. Like it says in the book of Baruch, we are subject to payment. Sub means under, jection means rule. We're under the rulership of paying taxes to the society because we are tributaries to them. Meaning that we serve the state. I, I, I didn't think this was going to go that deep, but I'm just speaking through the spirit. Sirach, Ecclesiasticus 10 and 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, Injuries and riches got by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. How was America built? Off of unrighteous dealings. Over a hundred something peace treaties with the natives of this land. Who you today will call Native American. And you broke every single last one of them. And Andrew, Jack Andrew Jackson with the removal act. Formulated the trail of tears. This is passion. Sarat so ten and eight because of unrighteous. My mom was my mother's um, Reubenite. She would be considered a similar Indian. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, 
the kingdom is translated from one people to another. So, the society that you're living in right now, under Esau Edom, what is it? Job 9, 24, the earth given to the hands of the wicked. Guess what the Lord said in, in the book of Daniel? The saints shall take the kingdom. Why? And I'm going to close out. Ecclesiasticus 10 and 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. With that being said, I pray you was edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Call my Allah. Wolf like a ball. Shalom.